this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel uh, my lovely cyber angel thank you very much for your support and for your uh, sharing and liking and give us the thumbs up I do appreciate that because you make the channel as much as I do together we stand strong and together we make something out of it and remember um, the live sessions have changed to Monday and Friday for English speaking and if you know Dutch then you're more than welcome to join in on Wednesday I'm also doing interviews with a real-life witch and uh, th that video will be uploaded on Wednesday I've, um, I'm getting positive response from that but if you've got any questions um, uh, about uh, herbs or oils or relaxation, meditation, spells, uh, anything uh, with regard to uh, the the witch uh, flog, then let me know or let Wendy know. The email is underneath the videos. Also, this video ha underneath here, you've got the information in how to get in contact with me and also here in the, the, the top corner a little white circle with an eye click on that and you'll be taken through to charliesangeltarot.com the website and there are updates there as well and I've also started doing things uh, under the heading whiplish or life coach as I'm doing um, uh, vlogs about that as well, unseen uh, disabilities. So uh, um, I'm really busy, 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 and I'm also uh, doing reviews uh, in the coming weeks on new decks. And um, I think I'm going to take some of my old decks out of the cupboard as well, and I'll be doing reviews on those as well. And if you're new, welcome to the channel as well. Of course, I mustn't forget my new Cyber Angels. If you want to become a Cyber Angel, then join me in the life and become one of the family in the tea room. The chat room is called the tea room. Okay, so grab your cuppa and come and join us. And please subscribe and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded and Aries this is your reading for the 30th of Mar March uh, till the 6th of April and happy birthday I hope you're not feeling down or depressed because it's your birthday and you can't receive visitors do something exciting put your tablet or your telephone um, on the table and have a cup of tea and a slice of cake and phone up friends do a video uh, 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 how do you, sp you can do that through messenger or skype phone somebody and then have a party a cyber party with your own piece of cake and your cup of tea make it some fun or do something creative or start dancing or uh, have a conversation and play music uh, it is great fun. People are doing it all over the world. So make your day special and get people to send you their presents and then you will have a present on your birthday. If you are alone or ask people to send you a card and make um, uh, what you call those uh, slingers. Uh, uh, gosh, I forgot the name and you can make garlands from the cards that you receive on your birthday okay I'm using the enchanted dream tarot um, by uh, Yasmin Westwood and the angel feather oracle card and the archangel Michael card I've pulled archangel Michael in order to protect you as he's the archangel for protection clarity and justice and I just wish everybody uh, uh, protection and take care of yourself in these difficult times and try not to name the issue um, because you're feeding it power so be 
uh, thankful on how you are at this moment you are a special person as well everybody is everybody is unique now Aries you start off with the two of swords and you've crossed your chest with this and you're wearing a blindfold so open your solar plex open your heart um, uh, the solar plex is the emotional chakra let love in let happiness come in don't shut yourself off like I said you uh, might you might be isolated as everybody has to shut themselves off but you can go outside from time to time during the day also to get your necessities so don't get depressed don't uh, wear um, uh, don't keep your eyes closed or walk around with blinkers on see what is in front of you uh, the sunlight the 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 trees that are um, opening up their buds that kind of thing okay there might be a question or an issue at hand that you cannot see or you will not see on how to change it then we have the nine of ones perhaps you've come through difficult times um, and uh, the end is in sight here you can see the girl leaning on or putting her head down on her arm and she's holding on to a staff there is an ending coming to a bad time a bad phase of life you're in a transformation look at the butterfly symbolizing that there is a new beginning you are stronger than you realize then we have the queen of fire and she's been popping out like nobody's business okay she's a d determined young woman or a woman she, well she looks pretty young here but she's determined she knows what she wants and she takes action and she goes for it so perhaps in the beginning of the week you had your eyes closed your heart closed but in coming week in the middle of the week on Wednesday just there you know what you want and you're going for it you've come into action or you might meet the Queen of Wands this could be an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and they are quite determined people so I'm glad to see that you are opening your heart and your eyes and your mind to new possibilities because there is a new beginning coming and you've got judgment you've got a second chance but you've got two here a second chance or a new beginning that is what judgment means to me um, as uh, you are the Phoenix rising from the ashes look how beautiful um, I'm getting to hear uh, if you don't succeed the first time try try again okay and also if you fall down stand up dust yourself off and continue you are strong okay you're stronger you've got the power of the lion the strength okay now on Friday you have the fool the fool mean uh, means a new beginning as well take that leap of faith Ooh, I love the way the, this this card and it's also got a like a wheel of fortune but you're climbing up 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 and away take it easy though because you might not have all the information if you can get more information about the situation on how to make a new start that is fantastic but otherwise take that leap of faith listen to your intuition okay and you've got new beginnings all over the place right from Wednesday till Friday you've also got um, a card confirming the fool you've got the wheel of fortune like I said up 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 so take that leap of faith the wheel turns round okay you've got half past nine here 
and you've also hold on there was also another time I think yes half past nine um, I see uh, Cancer here and I see Libra there so it might take time to get to where you want to go but it is time now and remember time is man-made so something might take a little bit longer than uh, you thought perhaps that's why you gave up don't give up now you've come so far don't give up I know the last steps are the heaviest but don't give up all that hard work that you've done keep that determination like the Queen of Wands the Wheel of Fortune is also what if you've done good you'll get it back threefold the same if you've done bad if somebody has done you bad um, and that's why you closed yourself off they will get it back threefold as well even if they've done good okay this is the karma card this is my karma card you might be moving home you might be going on holiday as this is also the travel card something is coming full circle what goes up must come down what goes round comes round okay don't worry karma will be there for you or for them you might go up a next level in your relationship you might get a promotion because you might get recognition in a job you've been working so hard and it might not have uh, be successful in the first instance but you are not giving up you're determined to get to the top that is what this card the fool is saying to me because she's right at the top of the staircase usually it's somebody standing at the edge of the cliff with the dog but here it is the wolf okay so wolves uh, be wild be daring jump take that leap of faith because why because you've got the king of pentacles and that's a very lucky card the king of pentacles means that you've got the neatest touch everything that you do now will turn to gold will be profitable will will be of success okay if you believe that it will happen like the wheel it turns everything turns and I'm also got the wheel in this picture and we've got oh everywhere we have the moon okay the moon is significant it is a cycle or you might be meeting the king of pentacles at the weekend this could be a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus and uh, it is a, um, perhaps a new relationship or you might be uh, the relationship might go up a level and that's quite predominant the Pentacles as we've also got the six of Pentacles you know uh, the king of pentacles stands for investing perhaps you have invested and it's come to fruition now because you took that leap of faith okay and it's come round and it's bearing its fruit this weekend um, it is also the give and take um, card for me the six of pentacles and balance perhaps you've been able to balance your money now because you've got this promotion and you've taken this new beginning this leap of faith if you have your own business and the hermit the hermit is a spiritual card but also um, as the word hermit hermit means perhaps you've shut yourself down and you stepped aside and took time out for yourself and you were meditating or contemplating on how to fulfill your wish and dream this new beginning or this second chance so that it will be profitable perhaps you got the information you seek advice from somebody and um, you've uh, used this information correctly and you've learned you've gained wisdom like the hermit and you've also gained life experience so the nine of um, wants 
will not happen to you again okay you will keep something for a rainy day so that you can support yourself and stay in balance or help somebody else out if you are not going if you're not the one that's being helped out by a king of pentacles okay so the hermit means take time out but I think you've done that and contemplate meditate and evaluate throw away what is of no use to you so that your life journey that uh, because we are on a journey all of us spiritually or, or mentally or physically like this card means holiday okay or moving home moving on and upwards we do move on and what you take with you is your wisdom and your life experience but to also take time out to evaluate and move on from negativity leave the negativity behind and we've got the nine of cups underneath this card so there's only good things coming your way Aries now for the angel feather card we have the archangel uh, sorry or, uh, orange angel feather card it, it says choose to feel good stay positive Aries stay positive and you've got Archangel Gabriel okay you've got Archangel Gabriel okay and it says the angels ask that you let go of old emotions what did I say let go of the negative and the old so that you can move on lighten your load let go of old emotions and any emotional pain from the past when these are released joy will warm your heart so open your heart okay what goes round comes round they will get their karma don't you worry and it could be a Leo so we've got the Queen of Wands here and she represents um, Sagittarius Aries or Leo so I won't exclude any other fire signs but the Queen of Wands is also Leo so it could be uh, a King of Pentacles Capricorn um, Taurus or uh, I forgot now Virgo okay so it could be somebody f uh, that uh, has done you wrong okay my sweeties and the hermit also means uh, a Virgo again here we've got the Virgo so Virgo and Leo it, are quite prominent okay so they could have been the one that have done you wrong they'll get the karma don't you worry now we've got the family protection a rainbow blessing you've got a golden card uh, from Archangel Michael and he's sending you protection okay Archangel Michael advises you to invoke the rainbow light spectrum it will bring protection and blessings to your family and loved ones sorry about that that's Matis and she always comes and joins me usually with Sagittarius but she she's a fire sign she's the Sagi um, so she must uh, feel your energy the fire okay so protect yourself and know that you are protected by Archangel Michael because you've got the golden card okay your whole family is also protected so don't worry everything will be alright I hope you sorry Aries uh, what I have done with all the other uh, readings up till now I've cho chosen a specific card that stuck out to me in the reading and I think I will go and take the Queen of Wands um, because she's quite prominent and also the King of Pentacles but uh, I think I just like the Queen of Wands uh, the best to suit with this reading 
Okay, let's have a look. Now, the queen, I'll give you some uh, uh, keywords so that you can recognize if this is you or if this is a person you're going to meet. I think that since you are Aries, uh, you are a fire sign, I think it is more likely to be you. Dynamic, powerful, energetic, superwoman, cheerful, passionate, confident, inspiring, self-assured, feisty, creative, visionary, fearless, ambitious, worry, bold, optimistic, cheerful, sexy, efficient and independent that is some of your characteristics and if you are a true follower of mine then you also know that I always say that you've got leadership uh, qualities because you are strong okay now the question I would like to ask you is are you confident in who you are or do you care about what other people think? Now I'm going. You can do this if you like. It is an exercise, and it can be for the day or it can be for the whole week. If you are normally shy and retiring, be the opposite this week, okay? Or be for today. But I always say this week. Allow yourself to be the center of attention for a change and that is her power so stand in your power so if you are normally uh, um, shy or not sure of yourself now is the time to take time out and allow yourself to be the center of attention not only because of it's uh, uh, the month of Aries April and the end of March but this will um, show people that you deserve respect okay so stand in your own power learn to say no that is what I'm asking you to do this week let people know your boundaries learn to say no and put yourself in the spotlight and enjoy that don't not and um, once you do this then it will become much easier um, to practice that generally it will it won't it will become it will be become second nature to you learn like the uh, hermit okay I'm sorry about this I will edit the video um, and I hope you will take note of this suggestion and that's how you can protect yourself by showing people your boundaries and say no. Take care, be blessed and thank you very much for um, liking and sharing and I'll see you in the live sessions. Stay safe and know you're not alone. Ciao, ciao.